Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and this is my husband, Chris, and we have both been eating a meat-based carnivore diet for almost six years now. So yes, that means we have eaten nothing but meat, eggs, cheese for the last six years. In that six years, we both lost over a hundred pounds. I've reversed my type two diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, allergies, all kinds of other aches and pains. In this video, we wanna talk about common mistakes that people make when they're starting a carnivore diet. Several of them are things that we went through over the last six years that we hopefully can give you some tips and tricks to avoid. We also have a video called 10 Things I Wish I Knew Before I Started a Carnivore Diet, as well as lots of other advice for when you're getting started. I'll put all the links for those videos in the description. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that's formulated for people who are on a low carb, keto, or carnivore diet. When you're first starting out with no carbs, your body can flush out all those natural electrolytes and you go through that keto flu. Having a salt-based electrolyte really helps keep you hydrated and Element is a great quality of sodium, magnesium, and potassium um, that we incorporate into our carnivore diet for many years now. Their flavored versions are sweetened with stevia and they do have a unflavored version which doesn't have any sweetener at all. She likes to use that one. I prefer to have like uh, the chocolate caramel and some iced coffee in the mornings. That's my go-to or the citrus in the afternoon after I've done a long walk or exercise. Element has a deal for all my subscribers where you can get a free sample pack with your purchase. I will put the link in the description or you can go to drinkelement.com slash lauraspath to get yours today. Thanks to Element for sponsoring this video. The first one we have on our list is thinking calories don't matter. And yes, calories is a complicated issue scientifically, and some might say that they don't matter, but how much you're eating does matter, particularly energy, whether that's fat or carbs. Uh, if you eat too much, you're going to gain weight. If you eat less, you might lose weight or you might maintain based on how much you eat. So um, depending on where you're coming from, you may be able to eat all you want. You know, before I started this way of eating, I was eating five, 6,000 calories a day. And then I went to eating three, 4,000 calories of meat a day and I just lost weight like crazy. But if you're already dieting, if you're already eating a small amount, you might need to look at how much you're eating. We're not saying to track this all the time, but you can overeat on a carnivore diet. Like Chris mentioned, you still can overeat on a carnivore diet. You can't just eat as much bacon, eggs, and meat and cheese as you want all day long and not expect to gain weight. But on the flip side to that, the second mistake that we often see people making on a carnivore diet is not eating enough. There is a big difference between a thousand calories of donuts and a thousand calories of ribeye. So while calories still matter, there's a huge satiety difference. If I were to eat a bunch of donuts, I am going to be a lot hungrier within an hour or two because of the blood sugar spike and crash and your body is just burning through all that sugar very quickly. When I eat a thousand calories of ribeye, I am going to be sustained for a lot longer. And so a lot of people might eat a big meal of bacon and eggs mid midday and feel satisfied for the rest of the day. That is not enough food for you. Your body is not getting enough fuel. And over time, your metabolism will slow down and you will start having some issues and you will stop losing weight because you're not eating enough. So while we don't recommend tracking your calories every day, it is helpful to check in occasionally just to make sure that you're not overeating or undereating. The third mistake we see is not going all in. This is not something you can be uh, willy nilly about and only do it during the week and not on the weekends. It needs to be consistent. Consistency is the key. And we want to make sure we're not having treats and we're not, oh, I'm going to go out and have pizza and beer on the weekend on one day. And that's okay because that's going to take four or five days to reverse. When your body is burning fat for fuel and you introduce carbs to it, you will then start to store all that fat that you've been eating to burn off the carbs, which are easier for your body to process. So flipping back and forth between carbs and fat is really the worst combination. I don't necessarily think people have to be strict carnivore forever, but if you don't go all in, if you don't cut out the keto treats, the alcohol, the nut butters, the vegetables for a specific period of time, for several months, you will not know the full benefits that you can get from a carnivore diet. And you may not understand truly what foods are negatively affecting you. So go strict carnivore, go all in for a few months. And then over time, you might be able to incorporate some foods back into your diet. And tying into that, number four is not letting perfect be the enemy of good. We can't obsess about perfection all the time. You know, we need to be as consistent as we can be 
And part of being consistent is something that's sustainable for us. So if it might be seasonings or it might be, you know, I have a Diet Coke every now and again, you know, something like that to uh, keep you from eating donuts or a big pile of fruit or something even, then that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. We've been healthy and sustained this for six years shopping at your local grocery store. Don't obsess about the grass finished, grain finished, the, you know, I eat in a restaurant. We promote no seed oils and we don't eat those in our household, but sometimes I'm gonna eat meat from a restaurant and I don't know what it's cooked in. This has to be something that you can go out to dinner with friends, enjoy your life. If you are not enjoying the way that you're eating and the life that you're living, you're not gonna stick to it and it's gonna be very short lived. And all the results we got, we did it that way and it all still worked and we're still here. Absolutely. And the last mistake that we see people making is not being patient. Think about how long it took for you to gain this weight in your life or how long it took that you were sick and unhealthy. Give yourself time to heal that. Some of you might see immediate results, but others it might take time for your body to heal and that weight loss to come. Don't be so quick to jump to the next trend or the next extreme where somebody is promising you quick results. The more consistent you are, and like we said, the more that you enjoy this, the more that you can stick to this, the more successful and healthy you will be long-term. And that's the goal. There are a lot of other videos on this channel that are helpful for you. Chris and I are both very active in my locals community. You can come find us at lauraeastbath.locals.com. Hope you subscribe and take care. Cut, print, <laughs> done.